Hi everyone! Today I will be teaching you how to make a tileable texture in Photoshop. First, open up Photoshop. Go to File, Open, and browse for the file you want to turn into a texture. Once you have your picture, go to your image, Canvas Size. Go to Pixels, and make sure that both are equal, because we need a perfect square. Then take note of um, how many pixels, I mean, take one of the size and divide it by two. So 1,536 divided by two would be 768. You'll need this later. Okay. Proceed to clip the canvas into a perfect square. There we go. Now, the reason why you needed to um, divide one of the sides by half is because we're going to offset this by half. So, 768, 768. We offset it because it exposes the seams. Because when you are tiling a texture, one texture will be like right here, another texture will be right here. Oh, oops. Another texture will be right here. And by offsetting it by half as width and height, we are able to fix all the seams. So when you do tile it side by side, then it would look seamless and be very um, natural looking and tiling would not look awkward. So the method I like to use when um, making textures is I like to use this healing brush tool. You can also press J on your keyboard. If you don't have it, just hold the symbol and just scroll to find the healing brush tool. How this brush works, you press down Alt and it loads your brush with that um, texture, which you can then apply to um, other parts of your image. So I'm going to press Alt, to get this texture, and just going to slowly make a new rock. Making sure to get rid of this seam right here. Make sure to get other samples of other sides of the rock to promote variation. Because the more varied the rocks look, um, the more believable your texture will be. That's the goal. Same applies to other materials you might be trying to use. Also be conscious of the other side. Since I chose to um, use a red rock over here, I need to use a red rock on the other side. Because when it um, when they join together, then this rock will be over here, and I have to complete the rock. And remember, as you're doing this, always keep on reloading your brush to promote variation and contrast. So after you're satisfied with your image, just go and check that you can't see any of the seams, like right here is a little spot. There, now I can't see the seam. Can't, okay, I can't see any seam, any break right here. Can't see any seam down here. It's pretty good. I'm going to fix that piece right there. Looks better. Okay, so after you are done and satisfied with your image, go ahead and save it. Yep. In this case, I want to replace my old one. You can save it as a JPEG, which is what I'm going to do. 
there you go if um, you want to test your texture just in case open up a JPEG file and then go ahead and open it in paint I'm going to select the whole thing and copy it then I'm going to extend the canvas then I'm going to paste and drag to make sure it's hollow. I'm going to tile it by hand right now. Control V. And if you can see right here, um, the tiling um, was successful and we did it correctly in Photoshop. Um, this was just um, a basic tutorial. If you look really closely, you can see that I didn't do that great of a job. I could have smoothed this part out better, and this part out, you can still see a little bit of seam right here, but that's for you to um, decide whether or not that it's worth the extra care to fix the seams perfectly, because right now, it's not very noticeable, so it's really up to your personal preference how neatly you want to do the, um, the healing brush or other brushes to um, get rid of the seams and make your photo into a texture. So that's my t um, tutorial on how to make a tileable texture in Photoshop. Thank you and if you have any questions or comments just post below.